NBC Sports, your home of motorsports, welcomes you to the opening round for the Monster Energy AMA Supercross Championship. Yes, here we are in the familiar surrounds of Angel Stadium of Anaheim, ready to get things going. Looks like he's making a few mistakes. Well, we've seen RJ Hampshire put on some pretty spectacular last lap, last moment passes. Is there one coming here in the heat? Or is he going to say, uh, Jordan, you can have it. It's all right, we're going to the main. I'll see you again. This is it. Jordan Smith wins the first race of 2024. Final lap. So the timing has worked out beautifully. He had to deal with Beaumaire early off the line, but once he got in front, Max Volan has not looked back. Hey, you know what it's like. You change teams and manufacturers, and sometimes the change of scenery and personnel can be the difference. Yeah, sometimes you need a little bit of motivation, whether it's your choice or a different choice. Looks like the motivation is in the right spot, Lee. Green light for the race leader on the green bike, and the Pro Circuit Kawasaki pilot, Max Volan, notches up win number one, and that's his first ever heat win in Monster Energy AMA Supercross competition. Well done, Maximus. It's 4.50 time. Drop the gate, let's go. Ken Roxon with a great start on the inside. Oh, down goes Hunter Lawrence. Lawrence went down hard and the champ. Sexton was in that as well. Now, oh, man, that was a tough hit by uh, Hunter Lawrence. Lost the front end. I actually believe he got ran over. Oh, uh, Jet can't believe what's happened to his brother. Wow. I think there were four bikes there, Stu, that went down. Four riders. It's Ken Roxon who leads over Christian Craig aboard that Rockstar Husky. Let's have a look. Okay, it looks like he gets in there and he gets pinched off be between, uh, I believe it's 125 and he lost the front end. And oh, that was a hard hit. Yeah, so we got 125 and he has nowhere to go. 125 is trying to get close in there as we're looking at. Oh, that was Vince Freeze. Okay, Vince Freeze gets him. Here we go, this is a better look. Look to the right of your screen. Yeah, Vin Vince Freeze comes in, trying to do what's right. He's trying to get to that first corner first. And yeah, Chase Sexton has nowhere to go. And did you notice behind Sexton was Tomac, who was fully locked up. Locked up and sideways, and his Jets reaction. He can't believe that his big brother has gone down lap one, turn one. And Hunter Lawrence, unfortunately, after dropping it at the first turn with that awkward collision, is going to be forced to the last chance qualifier in his first 450 Supercross race. He too has had a terrific offseason, albeit short because he's been very busy, but good consistency for Ken knows the surrounds, comfortable with this operation. Maybe achieved more than he thought he would have last year. It was fantastic. It was one of these stories of 2023. And Roxon is getting his new season off to the best possible start. Looks good, doesn't he, James? No, he looks good. He looks even better coming across this checkered flag. Here it is, Roxon with the heat win. Heat two of the 450s underway. Great start, Jed Lawrence. Look up the inside, though. Here comes Cooper Webb and Jason Anderson. Webb jumping into the action and on the inside takes the fight to Jed Lawrence. I told you guys he was not happy about all this conversation and what a move by Cooper Webb. What a move by Jason Anderson. Didn't get the best to start, but he snuck up the inside and they don't care. They don't. They like the rookie Jet Lawrence or whatever you want to call him. They like him, but they, they don't like the sense of that we keep talking and Cooper Webb, he's came to play Lee. All right, it looks like Jet Lawrence has kind of found his flow. Yep. So I'm going to be interested to watch what happens once he gets close to Cooper Webb. Here we go. Here we go. Pass. Jet has some entry speed. Oh, and he went off. He's down. Jumped into the tough block. Well, uh, that was interesting. I just saw that. When he has a lot of speed compared to Cooper in both those back-to-back -back whoop sections, and looks like he just gets in. Got the weight going to the left on the right-handed corner. And yeah, just a tip over.
rejoins in front of Dylan Frandis. Here's what happened. This is how it went down. So he gets in this corner, and yeah, as I say, looks like he starts leaning over to the left on the right hand of the corner is never good. And at this point, he's on for the rod. There's nothing he can do. But I believe a lot of this was dictated because of Cooper Webb being in front of him and making that pass. But yeah, Jetta learned from that. But Cooper Webb starting this new season back with Yamaha. And as Jeremy Coker, the star racing team manager, said yesterday, with Eli Tomac and Cooper Webb not taking, not, not excluding Justin Cooper in this, but these two championship winning superstars on the squad, they don't do a whole lot together because, of course, Eli's in Colorado and Cooper's in Florida. But two powerhouse names like this with the celebrated careers they have, he feels they're going to bring the best out in each other. Oh, they're bringing the best out, and they probably don't have a lot of time because they're two alphas, champions that's trying to get to the top of the peak. Right now, Lee, Cooper's getting to it. Heat win for Cooper Webb. Nice little fist pump. On this magical night here in Anaheim, California, pressure is on. Same rules apply. Top four go through to the main. It's the 450 last chance qualifier. And it was not a great start for Hunter Lawrence. He's at the back of the field, making his way through and almost went down again. Oh, boy. Welcome to the 450 class, Hunter. Wow. That was a good move by staying up. But Meanwhile, up front, great start by the 46. Justin. Justin Hill. Yeah, Justin Hill got a great start. He got Kyle Chisholm um, right behind him, which has been really, really good in these LCQs. But yeah, on that, the bottom right, Hunter just got pinched off. And then you can tell he tries making, getting really aggressive. And then the guy in front of him hit the brakes. And I think he's over hit running the back of people tonight. Meanwhile, the factory HRC Honda team, they're nervous. All out is the sign for Hunter Lawrence. He's got to go hard, as hard as he can. Kyle Chisholm aboard that HEP. Suzuki, hell for the win. Meanwhile, you hear the crowd, they know that it's on, and it's on right here. Oh! Kane Clayson with the fist pump holds a factory Honda rider out of the main event. Hunter Lawrence is done for A1. Wow. but you could not be more impressed for this rookie debut of Julian Beaumaire, the 17-year-old former jet ski racer, superstar of the Supercross Futures program. And now he's racing the guy who was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jet Lawrence last year, Hampshire out in front. Great move by RJ, came up the inside. He's been fast in the whoops all day long as we saw in that first heat race, but he made that statement and made it on the rookie. RJ Hampshire, the veteran aboard this Rockstar Energy Factory Husqvarna. He didn't get the whole shot, but that didn't matter. He got to the front pretty effectively and took off. He is pumped, and why not? A win in A1 for RJ Hampshire. Gets his championship campaign off to the best start over Jordan Smith. And Levi Kitchen will stand on the podium on his new ride aboard the Pro Circuit Kawasaki. But it's all RJ in Great. Anaheim. Hampshire with the win, and look how much it means. This is Anaheim. Let's do it 2024 style. Lawrence on the inside with Plessinger. Great start, but it's Jet with the whole shot. Anderson leaps his way to the front. Blasting up the inside. Lawrence takes the fight to him, and Jet leads the way on lap one. What a pass by Jet. He knew um, he wanted to be in front of Jason Anderson. And hey, it's one of the guys maybe you don't want to hit. Jet's going to figure out, but great move by him. He got to that first corner quickly. Jason thought otherwise. But this is what everyone in the stadium did not want to see as far as the riders is Jet Lawrence out front. He didn't want to get, he got passed pretty swiftly by Cooper Webb in the heat race. And he made sure that he got back by Jason Anderson equally as quickly. Remember, up until last year, 
Jed Lawrence said he had a love-hate relationship with A1 because we first saw him here as a 16-year-old. Here's Webb on the inside! Webb throws everything he's got at Anderson! Up and over that big finish jump! He looks on the inside, the Kawasaki man's not done! And grabs second back! Yeah. Awesome riding, both men! Yeah, that was tough, and I know Cooper, he's probably frustrated because he went in to make that pass, and he could have been a lot more aggressive on Jason, but he gave him the respect. So for Jason to come back and do that, maybe next time he has that opportunity he won, but that might have cost those two guys that a win. But I believe if Cooper Webb gets an opportunity to do that again, he's going to make contact with Jason because of that. He'll make it stick. You feel another big move brewing here. Webb is down! Oh, no! Over the bars! Yeah, we kind of saw that coming. As I was saying, he was trying to make that pass so he can get to him. And now we, Chase Sexton, who's had a quiet night, moves his way up into third place. But yeah, that was tough. Cooper Webb, he lost that traction and he was on for the ride. Here's how it happened. What happened? So he's coming to in. Cooper Webb. So he's trying to get stay close to Jason so he can get there. And as you can see, the same thing happened to Nate. There's a, uh, a big bump on that, a kicker, and he hit it, and they're going so slow that that bike just rotates, and that's a hard hit for Cooper Webb, but at least he's back up. No rider has ever won on debut at A1 in the Premier class. Not the man sitting beside me, the legend, James Stewart, not our own GOAT, Ricky Carmichael, who never won at A1, not Jeremy McGrath, no rider in the 50-year history has ever won on debut. Jed Lawrence has now! Lawrence wins A1 in his first 450 Supercross ride. What a ride. What a ride. It's only got 71 to go, right? A bittersweet night. His brother didn't make the main, he wins the main. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.